and welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to display an extremely long list of items uh, inside flutter using list view dot builder so firstly i'll show you the output so this is the output as you can see uh, you can run it on android as well it would be more or less similar so i'm able to uh, as you can see i'm able to uh, scroll the items very quickly so first what i have done is that i have just created a flutter project then i have taken this list now this uh, so this is just dummy data uh, you can have whatever you feel like inside this list uh, like uh, uh, we have this podo objects concept in dart like just like java has pojo uh, like uh, plain old dart objects uh, you can have classes uh, inside this particular list like list of classes list of strings list of integers whatever you feel like so just for simplicity i have kept the list simple some populating like dummy data over here and if you see this scaffold i have taken this scaffold then inside that i have taken this list view dot builder now this is important you have to use list view dot dot builder and not the simple list view because that does not reuses the item but whereas list view dot builder it reuses the item so that's the advantage of using list view dot builder then inside that you can take whatever you feel like so here you can take a text widget text field widget uh, i don't know column widget row widget uh, whatever if you feel like so here i have taken list style this is by default widget present inside flutter so i'm just assigning and it has all this property so it has a title leading subtitle trailing so i'm just assigning title index uh, subtitle index but uh, yeah you can use if you don't want to use index you want to use a item in that particular uh, thing then you can use something like this uh, list index okay and if it is a podo class or a complex object or a class then you can use dot and whatever is the property assigned to that particular list so you can use something like this as well uh, so here you can see I, it is starting from zero if i just refresh this i think i will have to do okay this is also starting from zero i think so yeah that's why uh, you are getting zero as the starting index uh, starting value as well so anyways uh, but uh, here again you can do whatever you want leading subtitle and trailing and the other important thing is the item count so here you can see inside item count you will have to write list dot length so again that's it that's how simple it is thank you for watching bye